What's going on, fish heads? Long time no see. I know, it's been a long, it feels like, oh, well, it's been weeks. So yeah, it's yes. been a while. <laughs> And, and we, we're here on a Thursday. We're mixing it up this week for you guys. Yeah, we had to skip. We had to push it one day. Yep. But we're here, and we got something pretty cool, which you guys already see, have yep. seen what it is. But we're going to yes. give you the details. We are giving away two water box t-shirts today. So make sure you're engaging in the comments. Ask questions. Um, that is the currency to win. So one yes. from YouTube, one from Facebook. So get busy talking to each other. Ask questions. Um, we'll be doing Q&A later. Yeah, if you guys are on <clears> Facebook, <throat> make sure you share the, the stream. Um, you guys on YouTube, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Don't want to miss none of it. Um, so the Infinia family has grown. It has. And people have been asking. We've kind of not been not hiding of it that mm -hmm. it's coming, but it's finally here um, and available for order in U.S. and Canada. Yep. The Infinia Peninsula. Yes. You guys have been <laughs> our. You guys have been asking for um, a peninsula with this type of cabinetry for mm -hmm. a while. And if you guys maybe have noticed, we actually phased out the original peninsula. Yeah. And this is now replacing it. People kind of figured us out as we were doing that. Yeah. Um, so that actually, we launched that on Monday. So today we're gonna talk about features, take your questions on it. Um, really any questions, water box, aquarium keeping, doesn't matter, go ahead and drop them into the chat. But we're gonna talk about the Infinia Peninsula a bit today. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I guess first thing is what sizes. So it's coming in a four, five, and six foot model. That's pretty cool. Yes. So here you got them here. And of course, that beautiful brushed aluminum or black cabinetry of the regular Infinia line. Um, and you see it kind of gets taller as they go. You can check out the full tech specs and everything, every single model on the website as well. So three yeah. sizes of this bad boy to choose from. Cool. Yeah, I like, mm -hmm. the, I like the four foot option. Now, we've always, we've always had a four foot. Um, in some capacity, we've had it's always been more narrow, right? Right. So this is cool that we have a four foot with the same uh, width. Yeah. So nice big four foot peninsula has been a big request from people. Go a little mm -hmm. bit wider. Um, so that is finally here, and of course the cabinet. Yep. Talk about the marine shield. Yep, the marine shield uh, aluminum cabinet. We do manufacture these all uh, in house. So we we actually this is a our design. Our manufacturing, it's really neat stand. Um, really good materials to hold up like over time with right. the harsh environment and the salt water and everything. So this is made to last as long as you are gonna ever have your aquarium, the kind that's gonna be yeah. there with you. Um, and a cool feature just like our regular peninsula line was accessible from both sides, which right. is extremely important in a peninsula to not have to choose only one side that you can get into it, depending mm -hmm. on how you place it. So this is available to where it, both sides can be opened Which and access awesome. the inside yeah. and the s equipment and sump and all of that. So that is one of the really cool <clears> things <throat> about a peninsula, especially if you have that option to access both sides. Yes. You know, you can it, everything's so much more accessible. When it's you, so much easier yeah. maintenance wise and kind of you don't have to reach over different stuff. So, um, you know, having that not having to choose. Oh, I can't have because a lot of times people use peninsulas, but one side is going to have furniture or something there. Yeah. So if you don't have access from both sides, sometimes you can't use a peninsula in the way that you want to. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have yeah. someone moving next door. Yeah, if you guys hear the grinding noises, that's someone moving next door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind, it's not soundproofed in here. Yeah. Um, so it's a good feature that we've kept along the peninsula line, yeah. of course. Um, so we're gonna talk about the kind of sump and all of that here. Made plenty of room for equipment. Mm -hmm. in there. Um, I don't know if we're pulling up some sump designs. So um, with these here, you got the filter socks, of course. Then we also in these have a refugium and a live rock chamber. So they're kept separated. Yep. So you can kind of function them in different ways if you want, but that's their designated kind of options here is you're going to have your refugium. Um, there's also a live rock chamber. And then made sure that the skimmer and reactor and all that chamber is quite large. So you can be able to fit plenty of equipment in there, yep. plenty of room. Um, and like I said, with the tech specs, you can find all of those out there. And of course, your return pump chamber. With this, they does have ATL that sits on rails on the top mm -hmm. there um, and can be moved to a different location over the sump as needed. And in the like five and six foot models, there's plenty of room in the cabinet if you wanted to put something larger for an ATL. Right. <clears throat> So you can see that one there. 
Um, but plenty of space for everything, which can be hard in a peninsula sometimes to have like a good layout of the sump and have mm -hmm. enough room for everything. So we made sure that pretty much whatever you want to use, it's going to fit in there. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, and of course, like the Infineas, you've got a control panel. Help you kind of keep everything organized. Keep the boards um, tidy. Yeah, and that helps you mount all your controllers, hide some of your wires, just make it a little bit more clean and streamlined, which is really important on a peninsula because you right. don't have the whole backside like a regular model that you can just hide your bird's nest of cords. <laughs> um, the peninsula you can see on three sides, so we really have to keep things nicely organized and out of view for a peninsula to keep that really clean look. Yep. So. So there you have you guys, the Infinia Peninsula. Very excited. Yes, we've been, been really excited to bring this to you guys. They are available in the U.S. and Canada right yep. now. Yeah, available right now, U.S. and Canada. Um, so showing in stock, they'll be shipping it within a few days if you place your order. Good to go. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take any questions or anything that might have come up in through there. One of the cool things about this cabinet design, if you look at our old peninsulas, while well, they're amazing, um, this style stand and this design is going to have much better ventilation. Yes. So, yeah. you know, because it's fully open, so there's not really like any... Divider plates. Right, anything that's closing off to allow a lot of moisture to build yeah. up. So. so with any peninsula, always provide ventilation, you know, because yeah. it is more closed than a standard cabinet. Yeah. Keep it wiped down and clean, hinges, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it's definitely a more open space inside, which is helpful. Reef Bros, can you slide that so you can fit a roller in? Yeah, so the rails go pretty much down the whole sump for the most part, and you can move your ATO mm -hmm. over. You can put it over refugium area. You can put it over, you know, kind of part between. But that leaves that whole sock chamber open if you so choose. Yeah. People in the rollers, man. Yeah. Roller mats. Yeah. Yep. They love their filter room. <laughs> I'm curious the weight of these cabinets compared to the previous cabinet. Um, I don't know. Probably n maybe a little bit less. Could be. Just because the panels and the doors and stuff like that are very lightweight. You mm. do have your aluminum frame, which is heavy duty, um, but we haven't done any weight comparison. That's a good question. I'm, I'll, I'll look that up maybe after the stream and see. Uh, but yeah, like the like she said, the the doors are all aluminum composite panels. So very lightweight. Yeah, they're very lightweight. It's not like the previous stand that was solid wood. Right. Um, so I'd say overall, if I had to say, I think it's probably a little bit lighter. Yeah, should be. Yeah. When will be the when will they be available in the UK? We're hoping probably within the next uh, sixty days or so, Robert. There you go. Keep an eye out. Of course, we'll make an announcement and yeah. let them know whenever it's coming available. They're not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> All good. If you guys, again, if you guys, if you guys have uh, any questions, post them below. Um, I do want to mention real quick. If you guys didn't tune in a few weeks ago, we did release. We have released a couple other new products over the last. Been uh, very busy. Yeah, I've been very busy. Very very busy. Uh, one of them being our new reef and sea salt mixes, which I'll throw up here real quick. Yeah. They're, they're ultra lightweight, as you can see. No, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, so we've got two mixes. Can you the take reef, that there, yeah. The okay. reef and the sea salt. They are shipping in the U.S. now. I think in the Canada pretty soon. Canada's very, very soon. Um, U.S. is in stock right now. Um, definitely check back to the live stream that we did with a lot of information in it. And then we also have two videos, one on the mixing of the salt, one on information about it on yeah. the website. It's all the parameters, the different solidities, everything. Um, you know, definitely check out all the details of it. It's what we've used here. It's what we've used in our water box method for quite a while. Um, yep. And, you know, it's, it's a great salt. So. We've, we've formulated it to basically follow the same parameters that we use in all of our tanks here that you see us yeah. build. Um, so it's the perfect, perfect mix. Mixes fast, mixes clear extremely fast. So yep. definitely check it out. Um, there'll be some more products coming right behind it for uh, supplementing and things like that. So. Yeah. It's been so. a busy, busy time, so. <clears throat> All right, you can put that one back up there. <laughs> All right, no worries. <laughs> um, put that anywhere. Nathan's, I was wondering when this uh, would happen. Can we get some dimensions again? Get the dimensions again. Full tech specs are on the website, so you can reach them from the product page. You can reach yeah. them through the like help support area, um, but. Everything from all the different chamber sizes, dimensions, everything is on there. So dive on in. Yeah, so uh, waterboxquariums.com, 
uh, head over to the Infinia section. Um, but there are three sizes. There's mm -hmm. a four foot, a five, and a six. Yep. What material do you recommend for any type of sound deadening in the sump? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't have a lot of noise issues from sumps. Yeah. I mean, we run skimmers, pumps, the water coming through um, your overflow and into the sump is very quiet on a water box because you've got your gate valve so you can fine tune it. Um, we have sock silencers as well that are included with our models. So <clears throat> the most I really think you're here is just general slight hum of equipment. But I don't think, I don't know, I wouldn't do anything because you it, can't put material in there you, that can't be constantly wet. Like, yeah. you don't, I you wouldn't really do anything. What's funny about that is, and I, <laughs> you know, I see like newer people coming into the hobby and they're like, they think their tanks are loud. I'm yeah. like, this, these things are whisper quiet. Yeah. I mean, you hear if you were in the things. hobby 10, 15 years ago, those tanks were loud. It's a flushing tool in your house at all <laughs> yeah, times. Yeah. Um, These things are so You kind of so like quiet. make Durso drains and stuff there's like that to quiet moving. them. There's water moving. I mean, like you said, you're going to hear the equipment even more than the water, but yeah. there's water moving. So you're going to hear a little bit of water moving around. Right, but I haven't had anything that's loud enough. Um, and it does depend on the brand of stuff you use, too, because some skimmers, some pumps are much louder than the others. But, you know, we use like Nios and Ecotech and mm -hmm. AI products, and we haven't had any problem um, just for a general electrical hum and a little bit of water surface agitation kind yeah. of sounds. Peninsulas are the best type of tank, hands down, if you got space for one that is. I do love them because they're yeah. fun to escape. You know, get a lot more real estate that you can kind of see. It's yeah. a new perspective into yeah. an aquarium as well. Like we have the four foot Marine X Peninsula here. That's our mm -hmm. ORA aquaculture build. I love it. Yeah. I love being able to still walk around and like really up close see everything. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it is hard to fit them in a lot of house layouts. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have the right space for it. All right. Well, excited to finally have it here and available for everybody. Um, yeah. <clears throat> go check it out. If you have any questions, you can reach out to support. But pretty much all measurements, all the information is online now. Love it. <laughs> um, Give away some shirts. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, next week we're going to be talking about salt. Yeah, so we're going to, like we were just kind of talking about mm -hmm. with our chart, is really going over like how do you pick the right salt? Um, you know, do's and don'ts of mixing and using salt, also mixing practices, all that kind of mm -hmm. in depth stuff about <coughs> knowing what salt, how to use it best, all mm -hmm. of that. So it's going to be. Um, a good, there's a lot of little things people don't notice or know. So yeah. we're gonna kind of dive into all those little nuances of mixing and how to use it. And yeah, things that you might not stuff. necessarily think of that are important when it comes to mixing salt and yeah. choosing your salt and stuff. So. so it'll be a good one. So definitely tune in there. Give away some shirts now. All right. What about Kermo? Reef Bros on YouTube and Ross on Facebook. Congratulations, you guys. Email winners at waterboxaquariums.com. They'll get you hooked up with those new shirts. Congratulations, um, guys. We, we do this, we give away things here every week. Yeah. You know, whether it's shirts, an aquarium, maybe we'll do some salt next week. Um, Ooh, I, well, it is a salt episode. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you should definitely tune in because we might be giving away some salt on our salt episode next week. Yeah, so uh, pays to tune in live. You can always watch these after we're live, but. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a random day today, a Thursday. I don't it know is. if we've usually ever we're done a Thursday. Not, not, <laughs> not in a really, really long time. Um, usually here Wednesday, so we'll be here next Wednesday at noon. Uh, we'll talk all about salt. Yeah. See you then. See ya. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Remember, you can visit us online at waterboxaquariums.com. We're live every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. See you next week.